morning guys it is monday it's currently 9 30 a.m mondays don't really feel like anything to me maybe that's because i'm also working on the weekends too all right so this morning i'm actually working on our notion dashboard i recently migrated our small business to use notion for everything we're all using notion to track our different tasks epics and projects and i recently just redid our notion and it looks really really pretty so i want to show you guys so this is currently what our notion dashboard looks like we have a bunch of pages to the left and on the right hand side we enabled calendar so that we can easily preview different projects that everyone's working on we are also using the new projects tasks and sprints feature which is super nice and i'm able to get like a high level overview of all of our projects if you guys are interested in a notion tour just let me know in the comments i just wanted to update you guys on what it looks like for us oh yeah and this is just an apple watch holder that tristan actually printed with me as a test print this one fits my apple watch in it and charges it and i'm easily able to display the time and it's really cute because it's like a old vintage mac design this is not our design by the way but i'll leave the link to this design in the description in case you wanted to print it out yourself i would say that the hardest thing about starting a business with your family is maintaining a level of professionalism so that you guys are able to be productive and get things done and also maintaining healthy and positive relationships because they are your family and they are your best friends so i feel a lot better creating this notion page i feel so excited when i use apps that truly inspire me so yeah i'm going to continue filling out my notion for this week since it's monday we're actually going on vacation next week so i need to get a lot done before we go to our trip okay so i'm just gonna check on what ashley and tristan are up to all right ashley so you want to share what you're working on yeah i'm working on my coloring book i actually made like a prototype recently where i'm testing out how my drawings look in line art form using these copic markers right now i'm just cleaning up the line work to make it more simple okay it's interesting that you're coloring it differently than how your original drawing is that's kind of what i want with the coloring book because like the possibilities are endless. <laughs> so Tristan, you mind sharing with our community what you're up to? Yeah, so uh, I'm just making feet for our new gaming computer, like elevate it off the ground a little, so that we can play VR games. Like, And it's a great chance to like try out the new 3D printer that we got. We'll print this and just like send it. So now it's just gonna take 45 minutes and we'll have feet, brand new feet for our computer. All right. So as you can see, we're all working on our different things and that's pretty much the norm every day. I definitely want to show more of like the things that each three of us are working on because it all ties together in Cozy Lee Studios and I think it's just going to appeal to many different kinds of people. We're really trying to broaden Ashley's initiative with coloring books and Tristan's initiatives with Cozy Lee Studios and just like all the things in the workshop. Yeah, I think it's really fun that I'm kind of the creative director for all these things. My favorite part of any process is just creating ideas and seeing how to bring it to life. I think that for me it's not really so much the medium or the way in that you do make that happen. It's more so just the journey and each stage and all the ups and all the downs. Okay so I'm just gonna finish the tasks that I said I was gonna do before. After that I'm going to head down to our home basement workshop just to help Tristan out. Let's begin! So if you watched my last vlog, you would know that we recently finished our basement to convert it to our home workshop for Cozy Lee Studios. And if you didn't watch that and you're curious, be sure to check that video out. But we actually did more renovation work off camera and we finally painted the walls of this side of the workshop. So the last video, we were actually able to do this entire section 
where the 3D printer is and this wall pegboard organizer. But let me just turn the camera around. This is the other section, which was completely undone and it's still a work in progress. But Tristan actually painted the vents with an acrylic paint, which makes it look so much cleaner and less like a dungeon. And now he's building a wooden French cleat wall. But yeah, if you ordered one of our desk mats last fall, your desk mat was cut on this CNC machine and we were gluing everything and polishing each of them on these tables, but the basement did not look like how it is now. It looked much more like a dungeon, so I'm really excited that we took some time this month to really improve the space for us to make it more enjoyable and healthier for us to work in and get a lot more things done. So it's currently 11 a.m. and I'm in the workshop just to discuss with Tristan our final prototype for the Maxi Charger Stand product. We originally wanted to release this last year, but as you can see, there's many different iterations because we didn't want to just rush into releasing a product just to release it. So we wanted to come up with a version of the product that we're really happy with. And there's just a lot of things that we fine tune and discuss. We do a lot of tests and experiments to make sure that product is going to be able to function well on people's different surfaces. We're still picking out the different colors that we want for these products. So this was inspired by Zen Sand Gardens. So this one really reminds me of sand. It's really nice. We are also having this pastel yellow color and also like a creamy peach color. We're also thinking that you can possibly swap out our pucks is what we call them. Here it's white and pink, just as an example. So yeah, I just took this one off the printer and now we're just gonna discuss what we like and if we have to change anything else. actually just got some plants in the mail that I want to unbox and just check out my new plants. excited to put all these new plants around my house. This room that I'm in, my family room, is definitely lacking greenery and all the new plants that we just got are going to look really nice here. for this one. It was actually the drawing that my sister drew of me in my bedroom.
So Tristan just 3D printed these little feet for our new gaming PC. This is actually Ashley's old gaming PC and we're going to be using it in our living room so that we can easily play VR games or just PC games and look at the TV. So we're going to be sticking these 3D printed feet for our computer just to prevent overheating. So to complete the setup, that brings us to the sponsor of this portion of the video, Logitech G. Logitech G partnered with me to promote their Aurora collection and they sent me these really cute accessories for my living room gaming setup. I love how aesthetic they made everything and you can even customize each of the products to change up the colors to better suit your space. Most of the gaming accessories that I've seen have a more darker and less welcoming aesthetic, so I really love how Logitech G is making a collection that appeals to people with all sorts of styles. The other really nice thing about these accessories is that Logitech put a lot of thought into the functionality too, and it combines best of both form and function. So on top of the aesthetic look, they're also really well built, super ergonomic, and they have great wireless performance because of Logitech G's light speed technology. Light speed lets us avoid having to deal with cables all over the floor and this just keeps things performant because of the super low latency. The accessories also come with light sync so that you can program the LEDs to any color you want and you can also synchronize it with your screen or your music which is just a really cool feature. Light sync takes customizing your setup to the next level with all of these awesome color effects and it makes it so easy to set your colors to match across your entire setup. So if you're looking for some aesthetic and functional accessories for your setup, be sure to check out Logitech G's Aurora collection. You can use the link in my description below. Okay, so now that my living room PC gaming setup is all working, I'm going to introduce you guys to one of my favorite games in a really long time. It's called Planet of Lana and it's such a beautiful story. I haven't been this impressed by a game in such a long time, so I'm really excited to share with you guys this game. It's definitely my go-to game these days to just play and unwind after work. Let me know down in the comments what your current favorite games are. I am always looking for new games to try and share with you guys, so be sure to let me know. My favorite ways to exercise these days is by playing pickleball. I'm really excited to try out my new pickleball paddle. If you're looking for a sport that is competitive and doesn't require too much strength, you should definitely give pickleball a shot. It's a lot of fun and it's a really great way to unwind after work. Sometimes I, I...